Welcome to Heart to Heart about everything lupus, where we discuss everything about lupus. I'm Susie van der Walt, or as most of you know me, Susie Eagles Flight, and I am from Lupus South Africa and Andrea's Gift. Today we are going to talk about another tough subject, lupus and family. It's difficult to explain lupus to your family, difficult for them to understand, and very difficult to live with lupus in the family. So get a cup of nice hot coffee or tea, put your earphones in, sit on a relaxing chair, and let the two of us discuss lupus. This is what I call self-care. Take care of you. Explaining lupus to others. A network of friends and neighbors can give the same kind of valuable support as family members, lending a helping hand with chores and errands, offering a sympathetic ear or a comforting shoulder. But in order to give support, friends need to have some understanding of the nature of lupus. In the 17, year, 17 years that I have had lupus and the other 16 years since I started a sport organization, I have reala- realized it's our responsibility to educate our family and friends on lupus. Doctors don't have the time to counsel family members on everything about lupus. I have recently realized that there are family members, even I, have not made the effort to explain how lupus feels and I sent them the spoon theory. Now the spoon theory will be in the tools on the show notes. If you haven't listened or looked at it yet, it's very important. It is not necessary to share all the details about lupus, but you will want to describe the possible symptoms of lupus and your symptoms in particular. Explain your treatments as well as the fact that lupus can develop in men, women, teens and young children. Here yeah, the basic lupus video, link in the tools on show note, will assist. It's a good idea to show and send it to family. Most of us complain about our families not understanding, but we need to give our families the information. There will still be some that do not and want not to understand, but I have learned don't waste spoons on those. It will leave you frustrated and stressed, which is not good for your lupus at all. For some, the penny may drop later, but for others, it may never drop. One important thing I have learned is that people must understand that lupus can kill you. If you show them the suffering and show them that lupus can be terminal, almost frighten them. They will be more understanding and will show more compassion. Take them with you to your doctor appointments so that they can ask doctors questions and it seems to help with understanding. But um, doctors cannot do the full explanation because they only have a certain time in which to see you. Be ready to respond to questions and try not to react impatiently to sometimes inappropriate advice and comments. There will always be those who try to fix you with their advice and remedies they find. Ask them not to try and fix you. Lupus cannot be cured and there is no quick fixes. It's very disappointing and costly to try everything people suggest. A nice way to explain it is saying that you are in the care of a good medical team that are doing their best to find a treatment plan that works for you and that the treatment you are using is the best available to you and lupus will never go away completely. Let your friends know what to expect when the disease is active, such as last minute cancellations, why usual activities might not might need to be scaled back, and side effects of your prescribed medications. Here, the developing of a speech will help. I will explain how later in the podcast and the tools, and by using the spoon theory to explain why you do not have unlimited energy like others, and you have to take good care of yourself. A good way to start to explain lupus is to make clear what lupus is not. Lupus is not contagious. You cannot catch lupus from someone or give lupus to someone. Lupus is not like or related to HIV and AIDS. 
in HIV or AIDS, the immune system is underactive. In lupus, the immune system is overactive. Lupus is not related to cancer. Cancer is a condition of malignant abnormal tissue that grow rapidly and spread into the surrounding tissue. Then you can talk about what lupus is. Lupus is an autoimmune disease. In some ways, lupus represents a kind of allergic reaction by the body in which the immune system sees the body's own healthy tissues and cells as foreign. Lupus is a chronic disease. This means that anyone who develops lupus will have lupus for the rest of his or her life. As with other chronic illnesses such as diabetes or asthma there is no cure for lupus yet however there are medications and lifestyle adjustments that help most live an active and productive life with limitations of course but they must realize that you will never have a normal life again. And even if your medication works well, you will have periods where the disease is more active, called a flare, and times where you are tired. The symptoms will always be there. Because in people's minds, when you take the medication, you must be fine. So this is something you have to reiterate all the time. If people tell you just to do exercises to eat healthy, you are lazy, it's all in your mind, I am sure you all have had those. Those are the times you have to be firm and have the answers ready. For example, if they say you are lazy, you say fatigue is a symptom of lupus, there is a fight in my body it is actually fighting itself. I have information all over my body. So thinking of that, you can imagine why my body is tired and no amount of sleep will fix it because the fighting never stops. If they say eat healthy and exercise, you say I have adjusted my diet. I hope you have already done this. I do exercises that is suggested by my doctor. A healthy lifestyle does improve my pain etc but nothing is going to cure my lupus. If they say lupus is all in your mind, you say lupus is a dangerous disease that can kill me and damages my organs. There are actual blood tests that show that it's not all in my mind. I also take chemo medications, which has severe side effects. You will never tell someone with cancer it's all in their minds. Why do you say this about me? All the possible questions or statements is very important in making people understand. Lupus has many different symptoms and because of that it affects each person differently. Lupus can cause mild skin rash or achy joints or can involve the kidney, heart, lungs, brain and other internal organs. What most people do not realize however is how much effort it might take for you to function day to day when you have to cope with extreme fatigue, chronic pain, memory loss, medication side effects and or visible skin lesions. Lupus is unpredictable. It's a disease of flares and remissions. The symptoms improve and you feel better. That is what remission is. Knowing that lupus is unpredictable may help other people understand your physical and emotional ups and downs as well as the changes you may have to make to schedules, plans and commitments. So just repeating on the things you can talk about and explain what lupus is. It's lupus is an autoimmune disease. It's a chronic disease. It has many symptoms and it's unpredictable. Those are the kind of statements that you must prepare for and that you can explain what lupus is. <laughs>
I might have the same medications as people with cancer and malaria, but I don't have cancer and malaria. It affects my immune system, but it's not HIV and AIDS. It's more common than you think because there's about 5 million people around the world that has lupus, like Selena Gomez, Nick Cannon, Seal, all of those mentioning the, the celebrities always make as an effect on people. Guys and children can get lupus too. And the fact also that you're not lazy. Number seven is, um, but I don't look sick. It's flattering when someone tells you that you don't look sick but the, they expect you to then be okay if you look fine outside and to explain to them outside I might look fi fine but inside my body there is a terrible fight going on and my organs are damaged. Number eight, I'm not avoiding you seriously. That is when people so the thing that you, you're avoiding them, you're being rude, and you just explain that you don't have the energy or the health to attend every single um, meeting, uh, outing, uh, party, whatever. It's, it's really, you have to learn to say no, people. And I think that's what most of our, us have a problem with. I really, really need to stay out of the sun. And even uh, fluorescent lighting, um, car windows, um, those things can trigger your lupus skin rashes. And um, just explain to them that the skin, the sun on your skin can cause lupus to react out in rashes and blisters and everything. And number 10, there is no cure. Lupus sucks. It's a serious disease and it can be deadly. But luckily there is a lot of medication to treat the symptoms and prevent flares. I need to work with my doctors to keep my health under control and listen to my body when I don't feel well. But I can still concentrate on my goals, have fun like everyone else. Lupus is just one part of my life. Okay, the next part is develop a speech to explain what lupus is. Now, this is uh, below in the tools, there are a link to a plan to help you develop a speech so that you are prepared to give the answers and the right ones when talking to family and friends. You must educate yourself on lupus too. It's not a disease where you can just trust what the doctor says, drink your meds and everything will be honky-dory. Lupus is complicated. Um, so the you'll see the link in the tools it's document the PDF that has been developed by the LFA so some of the questions in this plans are questions that people might ask you and you are then asked on this piece of paper to plan your your answer so what is lupus you're obviously going to explain to them what is lupus if they ask you is lupus a kind of arthritis or is it like HIV or AIDS or like cancer? So it's not a kind of arthritis um, because arthritis is a symptom. There are many more parts to lupus. It's not like cancer and not like HIV like we said in the previous pages. Is there a cure? No, none yet. Who gets lupus? Um, so um, most people who get lupus are women in their childbearing um, years and but children and um, men can get lupus too. How and when you were diagnosed? How did you get lupus? Is it contagious? The hormones, bacterial infections, chemicals, all those things can cause lupus and it's not contagious. Can lupus be prevented? I with a healthy lifestyle, I suppose it can, but if you are genetically inclined or ha something happens to you, you can get lupus. Um, how is lupus treated? Um, lupus is treated with autoimmune suppressants, or it's immune suppression, sorry, uh, narcotics, anti-inflammatories, um, and cortisone, steroids. Um, can you die from lupus? Absolutely. How does lupus make you feel? Now, yeah, the spoon theory can help, but you specifically how does it make you feel and the next question are you read are you sure you really have a disease you just don't look sick 
and then it's the part where you say you have medical blood tests to prove that you have this disease and the outside may, may look fine but it's the inside that is ill next question why don't you try alternative treatments like so and so and so and they, that's when you say you have a dedicated medical team and you are on medications it has side effects but there is no cure for lupus and you cannot try everything your doctor is looking after you then the other one is why don't you change your diet to so and so you ha can tell them i hope you have done this you have you have amended your diet you are exercising and all in which your doctor has agreed and um, but it won't fix lupus nothing will ever fix lupus okay make adjustment as a family good communication is important for helping your family adjust to a lupus diagnosis you will want to make sure to say, share details of your lupus symptoms and treatments with your family keeping them informed can lessen their concerns it also helps them to understand why you have to say sometimes say no to the activities now these are tips that can help your family adjust maintain a manageable, manageable schedule with time for breaks so you have a, a schedule which you are working in and resting in between do what only you are able to do don't do more because that automatically makes you feel um, that you have um, disappointed everybody so make your schedule time for breaks I work a full day um, in the sense of housework lupus organizations um, etc but four o'clock in the afternoon I take a break for an hour whether I sleep or whether I just rest and watch something on TV that is an hour that I rest and after that hour I have much more energy to when my husband comes home and I don't have to lie down all the time and then I can be an actual wife to him so that breaks you will never know until you've tried it how much it means second one reassign household responsibilities as needed for example ask somebody else in your family to do a certain tasks so that you don't have everything on yourself it's very important because you won't be able to do everything then ask friends or extended family members to help around the house when possible so family and friends for example after explaining lupus to them ask them is it possible they can maybe when it you are not doing well um bring a meal over um you know help with things around the house you know that helps a lot and then if you have children talk to them about lupus and how it may f affect your life at home obviously if you have younger children you are going to have to evaluate what exactly you tell them but just tell them um, explain lupus in their understanding and then explain how it's going to affect your life so mommy can't perfect you at um, school so so and so will be doing it etc etc um, I have found some strategies that work but you may have totally different ones it's just important that you have a strategy one of the things we have implemented we have regular discussions as a family especially if I had blood tests since my doctor if seen my doctor if a traumatic event has happened or I'm suddenly surely feeling ill etc etc it is it, it's very important talk 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 communication it's very important um, the second one have a picture on the fridge of lupus symptoms so that they it can be burned into their brains all the symptoms but they seem to forget and make little post-it notes on this picture of what you are experiencing symptoms that you are experiencing that day or that week if it is something that's not on there added on a post-it post note it works very well of keeping the family informed and um, the third one we have a family uh, whatsapp group and it helps because when i am in bed and i cannot get out that day i send messages to family 
um, explaining how I feel, uh, what they need to take care of. Then I'm not, I'm not stressing in bed. Oh, I can't do this. I can't do this. So it's very important to have a strategy in your house of how you're going to work with your lupus diagnosis. Some instances it won't be possible, but try your best to implement something like that. Take time for yourself. While it's important to learn as much about lupus as you can, it's always also important to take a break from focusing on your disease when you need to. Living well with lupus often involves making some changes within your family, your profession, your social circle. But even though lupus may affect many different areas of your life, it's important to remember that this disease does not define you. Take time to do activities you enjoy and will help you recon re reconnect with yourself. So basically, um, you know, I, I like, to, like to paint. So I, I make time to paint um, just to get back to who I am. I like art, I like paintings and stuff like that. If you like to watch rugby or if you like to watch your child playing soccer, take time away from lupus. It's very important. And then find the support you need. Staying connected socially can help you put lupus in perspective. Build a support system. Make sure you spend time doing activities you enjoy with other people. And identify family members and friends you can turn to when you need someone to talk to. That's very important, you know, that um, accountability partner, somebody that helps you with your medication and, 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 but also a friend that you can talk to that will understand if you say, I cannot do anything today. And um, yeah, doing activities with other people is like having a bra with friends. Organize that you rest the whole day so that you're able to have that bra with friends so that you can connect with the people you love. And in addition to sharing with your family and friends, there are other ways you can find support. For example, individual therapy, if you have depression and anxiety and stuff that you need to deal with emotionally that you can't, we are not created to deal with lupus, remember that. So it's not meaning you are crazy, you need help, seeing a professional for that. Counsel um, couples therapy works very well if you and your husband, that somebody from the outside counsel you on how to deal with things and then also family therapy um, that has recently been a huge thing that that has happened over the past year and it actually works if you go to a therapist as a family so that also works very nicely an online support group can help you engage with other people like you so for example we have lupus south africa we have uh, andrew's gift then we have all the different pro province lupus patient routing and all the other provinces that you can link with you can link with us on, on social media um instagram tiktok everywhere if you need um and then we also have because of covid we don't have the physical um, support groups anymore but we have whatsapp group support groups which work very well and it's great to have those people to depend on life with lupus can be difficult at times but it doesn't have to stop you from doing things that matter to you remember it will take work to help your family understand but it will be worth it Thank you for listening. Please share, share, share and follow and like our pro profiles on social media. Susie Eagle Slides, Lupus South Africa, Andreas Gift. And we would appreciate your feedback on this podcast. And please review this podcast on your platform, whether it's Google or Spotify. The tools that we talked about today, the links are in the show notes. It's the Spoon Theory, which um, explains energy levels. The Lupus Basic Video, which is just explain what lupus is, what the symptoms is what causes lupus etc etc then the lupus speech worksheet is also in the in the show notes um, and it's the LFA's version works very well and then also in the show notes is lupus symptom images for your fridge there are four images that you can choose from thank you for listening everybody have a wonderful day bye